Alright, welcome to this episode of Man vs. Junk. This episode, I'm going to tell you some tips and tricks uh, regarding the uh, Lee Precision um, molds. And also, like, 12 gig mold and also lead load all two. Um, so, because here, I had to use these to, to understand all these things. The other thing is, um, there's some issues with the lead load all two. Now, you know, I have to say that all the good things, the positive things they've said about these products are true um, in most videos, but the thing is, is there's still room for improvement. There's still some issues with these things. So, first thing I'm going to do is show you tips and tricks with the, the 12 gauge slug mold. And um, this slug mold right now is in, in storage, so it has a uh, it has wax poured in it and everything because that's the way they're supposed to be stored and you're supposed to use wax to lubricate them when you use them but not quite this much so basically the wax there is in the shape of what the bullet would be almost you know and uh, that's good because it'll keep moisture and stuff from getting in there um, you got your spur plate and all that good stuff so here's what you want to know tips and tricks on this first of all in the mold um, yeah First thing you do with these is um, you get them hot. Yeah, you get a little extra blood there that shouldn't be there. But anyways, you get them hot and you dump a little bit of wax in, just a few drops or so, which of course you know wax is flammable. Um, then you take this and you dip it into your to your uh, lead just to warm it up a bit, like you saw in my other video. Then what you do is um, after it's warm enough, you start pouring some lead on it, and when the lead won't stick to here and it starts running off then you know it's hot enough for sure and you just pour lead in here and you tap it, my wife taught me that you tap it to make sure the air bubbles come out um, and you always wear welding gloves and all that, take all the other safety precautions that you're supposed to take um, and do not try at home but these are the things I've learned and then the other thing is is that right in here um, right below where the bullet is um, if that gets filled with lead or any lead gets in there it, it becomes unusable and what you got to do is you got to clean that out because if you don't, then it won't open and shut right. The lead will leak. It'll leak right out the bottom and just drip. Um, and it just becomes a pain in the butt. So, anyway, the other thing is some people say you can use lithium-based grease on these to store them. No, you can't. Um, look at this. See? All that coloration there. That's the that's residue of lithium grease being on there. It doesn't work. You can't, you can't do that. Um... Also, this little guy that comes in here, basically, from what I understand, this is the uh, amount of gunpowder to use. It says 2.2 cc. Caution, is only with Lee uh, charge table. Um, I don't know what the Lee charge table is because it's, well, I guess it's paper. But anyway, it didn't come with this thing, um, as far as I know. This goes back in here for storage. These went for a really high price during the Obama gun scare but afterwards um, when people stopped being scared for whatever reason um, these dropped down like 20 bucks so they're much easier to get now now the issues with the load all too first of all the buyer I got it from um, or the seller I got it from he didn't include an extra screw for the screw plate that's supposed to be here to hold it on um, second thing is is that uh, there's no wing nuts for the bottom and they expect you to just drill holes in your table and just mount this permanently to your table. And that's not my idea at all. I want to be able to put it away. And then the red thing, of course, when you take it off, the red thing has to come off because it'll just fall off. You, you know, it's like your tool toolbox. It, it's it got to, you know. And, of course, you got to keep it clean and all that good stuff. But, um. I didn't get any wing nuts with mine. Now, they might come with wing nuts. I don't know. But the guy who sold me mine, I didn't get any wing nuts. So, um, glue's still drying here. Anyway, um, so what happened with this guy is they supply you some mounts that go down into the wood. That you nail down into the wood. And then uh, they have threads in them that the screws screw into on the back of the lead load all to hold it in there. 
And uh, basically, mine didn't hold in at all. Um, I pounded them flush with the thing, and they just came right up out of the board, and the whole thing came forward every time I would just every time I would go down with it and pull forward, it would just, uh, they just come right out. So, um, I put some glue in there, pounded down, put some glue in this thing right here, help hold the whole thing down. You don't want to get any glue underneath of it or in the machine at all. Um, other thing I learned is if you buy a bunch of preloaded ammunition, you cut the top out and you take the ammunition out and then you put something else in there, like a slug or something, then what you got to do is like put something here um, because when this goes down something has to hold the take up the space you know the gap of the where you cut the top off and so and see this doesn't touch where I um, mounted this to it doesn't touch at all but right now I've got it clamped down so that the glue will dry and uh, I'll be in business again but It doesn't work as well as everybody says it does. It's not as magic as everybody says it is. Um, it is it is inexpensive, and um, it is made of plastic, like they say. It does do everything. It's very nice, but it takes it takes some getting used to. And um, I mounted it to this piece of wood so that I could clamp this piece of wood to a table, and that works. But like I say, the uh, the screws that hold this in and the mounts and everything just they come right out so the only thing I could say is is that if you took those uh, mounting things out and turn them upside down and put them in um, it might work if you can get it to thread right but uh, I don't know and I gotta find another screw so anyway that's my experience that's what I've learned about these things and uh, I had to cut off the uh, the screws on the bottom where they stick through because they're too long and they go into a table or something and I'm gonna have to cut them down even more now because um, since I've had to tap that down and get it in there better in the wood they stick out a little further and I have to come off again but uh, that's my tips and tricks that's what I learned with the Lee equipment and once again this is Lee load all um, 2 and that's your 12 gauge and it can be converted to 16 gauge or whatever, 20 gauge. And then I have a 12 gauge uh, slot uh, shotgun mold, and that's for making bullets. And uh, anyways, that's that's my advice. The other thing is they recommend you get the uh, the primer loader for doing full reloads, and I have that, so. Um, all I can say, if for my review of the thing, um, doesn't seem very cheap or, or anything like that. It works very well. So, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and check out. Be sure to check out videos daily, um, so that you can get some entertainment every day after you come home from school or work, or in the morning, or whenever you watch your videos. So, have fun. Be safe. Um, what else can I say? As you may know, some basics about the Lee Load All 2. Um, your shot goes in one side, your um, gunpowder goes in the other side. It has a whole bunch of different adjustments and things that come with it. It has several different stages. It takes the primer out, puts the new primer in. Um, you don't want to put ever mess with a live primer, try and take it out because it'll probably go off. Um, you put the empty shell with the new primer in it underneath and put the wadding in it then well first you fill it with gunpowder put the wadding in it then you fill it with your shot or your slug or whatever you're going to put in there then you move on to the, the crimping stage which is the stage I like um, and after you've got it crimped then you press it well if you're if you're doing what I talked about cutting the top off um, you can't press it because for one thing it's too short and number two it needs that uh, piece of metal it pulls the uh, or ejects um, the shot out of the press part because otherwise it'll get stuck up in there and it's really hard to get it out if it gets stuck up in there you need like a little tiny screwdriver and some pliers or something um, it's not fun so 
The only thing I can figure out is it has this little uh, slot in the front, little drawer thing, and I think that's where the the bad primers go, the used primers. I think that's where they go is in there. But uh, I had just pretty much waiting for the glue to dry at this point um, because I was using it like crazy today, and I was pushing back on it when I was pulling down on the top to try to keep it from from coming out, try to keep it from having any problems, and it came out anyway. Um, so yeah, the mounting part of the Lee Load All 2 is ridiculous, and it's it's just, you got to do a little extra work to get it to work right. Um, I don't know if this is going to hold once I, uh, once I do this. Um, I guess one of the best things I could do at this point, once I get it done and cut off those little nubs sticking on the bottom, is uh, if I do put this on a table, mount this on a table um, that I have full access to, um, I could use clamps on the top of the screw to keep it in there. Or um, if I hadn't cut the bottoms off already, I could put some uh, some nuts on there or something to help hold that there. Um, I could probably take those out and put some different nuts on them for one and two. But anyway, it's just a interesting, interesting piece of equipment. Take care of it. Um, the other thing with the, the mold is every one or two times you make a bullet, if you lubricate it with just a little bit of wax, um, it makes a big difference. The temperature is really important too. If you cool it down too much at the second stage, you saw in the other video where you put it on the damp cloth like it says, um, then the bullets aren't going to want to pour into it as well um, unless you heat it up a lot. So, And then of course there's the video where I modified the heating element so that the safety wouldn't keep coming on every time that the lead started melting. And um, all of that, of course, is a do not try at home. All of this is a do not try at home. But um, I just thought I'd tell you about these things and show you these things in case you decide to take the liability of trying this stuff yourself. Um, because I think that it's interesting and I think people should know about these problems because other people review these things and they don't talk about these issues with um, shotgun reloading. So, anyway... Like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out videos daily.